Hello and welcome once again to the Weather Hazard Briefing issued by National Weather Service Pocatello for Friday, the last day of March. Here's what you'll see in this presentation. Uh, current storm continues in areas south of the Snake River along with some very windy conditions. That should end though during the morning. And the snow, uh, I hate to say this, but it just merely lightens up and accumulations will return to the central Idaho mountains by the late afternoon hours. Uh, and there is a winter storm watch in effect starting at midnight tonight. That's when the snow intensifies uh, and we'll show you where exactly, but it will be moderate to heavy snow in parts of central Idaho and then the eastern highlands. Starts at midnight tonight and it goes through Saturday and Saturday night. There's also very strong wind which should cause some heavy drifting. We're looking at when I say strong, very strong wind, we have gusts to 50 miles an hour, especially through um, passes going into Montana. Looks uh, particularly bad. And we are still expecting those snow and afternoon rain for lower elevations. And, and rain could get as high as 6,000 feet in elevation, uh, mostly Saturday evening, and then it cools afterwards. And when will this snow end? Well, now it looks like Thursday is our best chance for no snow. So look for this weather to continue with you know at least moderate snowfall accumulations even on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. And we'll take a look at all of this. Um, first, though, starting out with the satellite image, uh, the storm that brought us all the snow has moved off to the east. Uh, but it is, with the, the northerly wind behind it, it is still developing snow underneath these clouds here uh, south of the Snake River. And uh, so the there is a wind advisory out as well for areas, for instance, like the Raft River Valley and portions of the Magic Valley. And this will continue until noon, should let up uh, both the snow and the wind at that point. All right, so the current warnings and advisories, these, are, these, these advisories and warnings south of the Snake River and into the Eastern Magic Valley, this should all end by noon today is what we're expecting. Uh, the stuff to the north here, these are all winter storm watches that are in effect. So you can see it does affect parts of the central Idaho mountains and then uh, our northeastern highlands all the way from Lone Pine all the way over to Island Park and south into the Swan Valley. Uh, and then wind-wise, again, the winds down here ending today, but there's a high wind watch in effect for uh, this part of southwest Montana. And that is matching up with our wind and uh, snow accumulation forecast uh, over here as well. So we are expecting the winds to howl through Manita Pass, uh, Reynolds Pass, Targhee Pass, all those passes uh, starting uh, late tonight and actually intensifying. And we'll show you exactly the timing of all those strong winds. So our weather risk outlook, as you can see, it is lit up like a Christmas tree. A lot of places uh, with a chance of snow and rain. Uh, and some strong morning wind in the South Hills, Southeast Highlands. And then you can see a lot of it is late night snow for the Eastern Highlands, uh, the Wood River Valley, Sawtooth, basically all the Central Idaho Mountains. It starts again during the late night hours. And during the day today, Snake Plain and Magic Valley also expecting at least some light snow uh, that will transition to rain and probably get washed away again. As that continues into Saturday for the Snake River Plain uh, with slightly better chances for the Magic Valley. And you can see uh, during the overnight hours, again, the winter storm warning is pretty strong likelihood for the eastern highlands, the Wood River Valley, and the Sawtooth area. With chances elsewhere and snow even in, in the Lemhi County. And then uh, that snow will continue at warning level into Sunday, probably for the eastern highlands and the southeast highlands. That should pick up uh, maybe as early as Saturday night. So still looking at the timing on that. We are waiting for sort of the, the storm to get over today. And you'll probably see 
uh, highlights out for that area uh, in the form of at least a watch if everything isn't converted to a warning because it looks, frankly, pretty likely. Uh, the snow and rain is likely also during the day on Sunday f and into the evening for the Snake Plain in the Magic Valley. And lighter snow likely for the Wood River area and Sawtooth during the day on Sunday. Uh, and Lemhi County should get some light snow. And you see it starts to taper off a little bit here on Monday, but lots of places where there's still snow and rain likely. And that continues Tuesday. Again, snow likely for all of the highlands and the central Idaho mountains, with the exception of the South Hills and Snake River Plain, the Magic Valley, where it's a chance of snow. And for those places, uh, afternoon rain. So as you can see, very busy, uh, just not ending anytime soon. All right, so let's see. start seeing the breakdown. Uh, this is what's fallen between midnight last night and 6 a.m. this morning. You can see the focus has been on areas uh, south of the Snake River. Uh, temperatures this morning, you can see they stayed mild, uh, but they did turn over to snow in a lot of locations, but it's a heavy, wet snow, especially once you get from Pocatello to the south and west. All right, so for today, the forecast here, uh, you can see we are looking for something of a break in some of our areas, but the rain and snow mix starting again in the central Idaho mountains and continuing here in the highlands during the day today. So let's see how that breaks out. So this morning, uh, a lot of places, again, north and west of the Snake River, uh, not much in the way of snow happening. It's, it's under half an inch accumulation. But elsewhere, uh, one to two inches even in Pocatello on the benches. And you can see the still some pretty good snow, four to six inches in the Bear River range. But otherwise, it's just light snow. Uh, this afternoon, it does continue. You can see a lot of these places where it, it changes over to rain, uh, it's at least up until Idaho Falls, where they're still getting some light snow. And then this evening, it sort of terminates in a lot of locations, but you can see it's starting up again here west of Stanley as this next storm comes in and then really takes off. Watch the change here. This will be after midnight tonight. Uh, it does start to accumulate both in the Island Park region and in the central Idaho mountains. But elsewhere, you're probably going to get a break. All right, winds this morning. You can see they're still really windy, especially um, south of Interstate 86 and still in the Raft River Valley going pretty strong. And again, that's probably going to linger till around noontime. Then you can see it lets up, but the gust starts to spread. It gets a little breezier in uh, the southern um, Snake River Plain. Then overnight, it sort of lets up, but you can see the next storm coming in is starting to gust 40 to 50 miles an hour uh, in the mountains of central Idaho and also in the islands going or in the uh, ridges uh, bordering Montana and the Island Park area. Spencer area so uh, we're looking for you know again winter storm warnings are very likely to develop after midnight tonight for the, especially those two areas all right so for today high temperatures uh, you know they'll struggle to get uh, to around 40 degrees once you get to the Blackfoot area and then south and uh, west of there should the lower elevation should be getting into the uh, lower and middle 40s uh, lots of above freezing even in places like uh, INL, Arco, uh, Craters of the Moon and uh, even Stanley expecting to get above freezing all right uh, Saturday or tonight overnight lows you can see some teens returning to the Mackey and Copper uh, Copper Basin areas uh, and most places getting below freezing, with the exception of places like Pocatello, American Falls, and Burley. All right, so if we look at the 24-hour snow for today and tonight, it's not as bad as it has been. Uh, most of this 
uh, in the northern half starts tonight. Most of this place is in the southern half. That is during the morning hours, at least until midnight. And then midnight, it's pretty much restarting again. Uh, again, mostly in the northern half, but even some light snow probably down here. All right, on to Saturday. Saturday night, you can see the entire area, mixed precipitation, most of that based on elevation and time of day. So here's Saturday morning, the snowfall going pretty good in the central Idaho mountains and again in the northern part of our uh, areas for uh, the Island Park area all the way down to Rexburg and Swan Valley. Then in the afternoon it does start to spread southward to include the Bear River Range and some of the other mountains south of Pocatello. But as you can see accumulation staying pretty light. Uh, it's also helped by uh, fairly warm temperatures. Down there is where we'll see the snow level rise to 6,000 feet. Then Saturday evening as things start to cool we start to get more snow, but as you can see, it's fairly light uh, with the exception of the Island Park area all the way down into the Big Hole Mountains. And then Saturday overnight, uh, it starts to lighten up a little bit. All right, but the other thing going on is the winds. Look at these winds by Saturday morning. These are tremendous gusts, 40 to 50 miles an hour in a lot of locations. And 30 to 35, though, even in the Snake River Plain, especially in the northern end of it. So that will blow snow. Sunday afternoon, it expands and gets even windier. You can see there are some places there uh, between Sun Valley and Craters of the Moon, uh, albeit these are ridges where the wind speeds will be in excess of 60 miles an hour. Uh, more of that Saturday evening. There just is no let up to this wind with this next storm. Finally, late night Sunday, uh, you can see it does start to weaken, mostly in the northern end, uh, but uh, it does keep going, uh, especially over Triggs, Teton Pass, uh, Swan Valley area, and places east of Idaho Falls. Uh, the high temperatures on Saturday, about the same. Not a whole lot of change here from Friday. Maybe a little bit warmer, one or two degrees. Low temperatures on Sunday morning as the cold front blows through. Uh, a lot of teens are now showing up in, near, in single digits in the central Idaho mountains. And you see we are colder in the Snake River Plain. All right, so if we look at Saturday and Saturday night aggregate snowfall, you can see why we do have winter storm warnings up for uh the upper parts of the Wood River Basin, the Stanley Basin, the surrounding Sawtooth Mountains, over here in Island Park, all the way down to the Big Hole Mountains, uh, and, and even Triggs. With the winds they'll be getting at three to four inches, that could be uh, problematic for uh, the Teton Valley. So, you know, I don't see how you're going to avoid road closures here as the wind is just not letting you catch a break. All right, finally here on Sunday, Sunday night, you can see we're getting colder and so a lot more places changing to all snow. Uh, here are the snowfall amounts on Sunday morning. You can see uh, a lot of the northern end finally getting a break and focus is sort of more east of I-15 and south of I-86. And then Sunday afternoon, it starts to intensify a little bit, um, but not much, Not com I mean comparatively. We're looking at two to three inches of snow in the six hour period, so that's half an inch an hour at best, and that would be you know, mostly in the mountainous areas. So the 24 hour snow totals for Sunday and Sunday night, uh, you can see it, you know, it's mostly focused on the eastern highlands from the Montana border all the way down to the Utah border. Um, but still even uh, Galena Summit, two to three inches. So it's not nothing, but it's definitely um, letting up from, you know, the horrendous week we've had uh, so far. All right, wind gusts Sunday morning, still very windy in the northern Snake River Plain and in these eastern highlands. It actually expands out during the day on Sunday. And then high temperatures for Sunday, uh, you can see we are colder. 
uh, 40s will even Burley will struggle to get to 40 degrees. And then Monday uh, or Sunday night, Monday morning lows, you can see the teens are now starting to creep into the Arco Desert, and everybody is solidly in the 20s. That's all I have. If you have any further questions, you can always contact us at this telephone number or check out the weather yourself at weather.gov slash Pocatello. Thanks for watching.